Hello everyone. Today we'll be making the outermost section of an airplane wing out of carbon fiber, using the vacuum infusion method. The tooling is a fiberglass mold that I made earlier. We start by cutting a template for the future layup from sheets of paper. Next, we prepare the materials for our vacuum bag, peel ply, 2mm foam core, resin flow mesh, and vacuum film. From foam scraps we'll also make the inlet ports to connect our bag to the vacuum pump and the resin feed line. We clean the mold surface from contaminants and wax residues, then place a sealing tape along the perimeter. We apply mold release wax so the final part won't stick to the tooling. Using the template, we cut the carbon fabric. To fix the fabric onto the mold, we apply a spray adhesive. This allows us to lay the carbon in areas with strong curvature and prevents it from lifting during resin infusion. On top of the carbon layer, we place the foam core and also fix it with glue. We finish our sandwich panel with a second layer of carbon fabric. Then comes the peel ply, flow mesh, vacuum ports, and the vacuum film. Around the perimeter of the bag, we form pleats so the film can freely cover the part without tension. We connect the bag to the vacuum pump and check for leaks. Once vacuum is maintained, we cut a second port in the bag, which will serve as the resin inlet. We measure and carefully mix the epoxy resin. I'm using a special low viscosity infusion resin, which allows it to penetrate the dense carbon weave. I degas the resin under vacuum. For this, I use a kitchen jar with a wide neck for dry goods. We feed the resin through the inlet in the bag, while the outlet is connected to the running vacuum pump. Due to the vacuum, the resin begins to flow into the bag and impregnates the top carbon layer. To impregnate the bottom carbon layer, the foam core has perforations. Through these holes, the resin seeps down into the lower fabric layer. In theory, based on my calculations, this type of sandwich structure with 80 grams per square meter carbon should be 12 times stiffer and twice as light compared to using just two layers of 200 grams per square meter carbon fabric. However, I didn't take into account that the resin would fill the open pores of the foam. In practice, we'll see how much this adds to the weight. Once the bag is fully infused, we close off both ports.
We leave the resin to cure. Then remove the bag. We peel off the peel ply together with the flow mesh and excess resin. Carefully we extract the part. It feels fairly heavy. Overall, I'm satisfied with the quality. At the tip of the winglet, without the sandwich core, you can clearly see how much less rigid the two-layer carbon section is. Finally, we trim the carbon excess along the perimeter. Don't repeat my mistakes. Always work with proper respiratory protection. <laughs>